Hey guys, what's up? It's Alexandria and welcome back to Kristen and Alexandria. So I know you guys saw Kristen's Zara haul last. Um, it was a Zara and styling video and this week I am doing my Zara haul and styling video. So um, mine and Kristen's style, just forewarning, is just a little bit different. Um, I definitely probably have a little bit more of a like girly style. I really love like ruffles and pleats and you know the whole nine so you're probably gonna for just forewarning you're probably gonna see a lot of that in this video well not a lot because this haul i actually did pick up some more like minimally kind of style pieces but just forewarning you might see you know lots of ruffles and like a little bit more of a girly style in this video um but before we jump into it you guys please 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 hit the subscribe button it's gonna mean so much to me and Kristen you have no idea um, every time we get a new subscriber we get so excited so um, please hit the subscribe button and make sure that you also hit the bell notification button as well so you never miss a video with us and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this video down below and yeah let's just get into it <laughs> Okay, you guys, so for this first outfit, just bear with me. You're going to see my mouth moving for the first outfit just because um, I didn't plan to do a voiceover until afterwards. So, um, yeah. But anyways, this first outfit is so cute to me. It's like probably one of my top favorites, maybe. Um, it's just a, this really cute, like cropped, um, kind of like a button down top, I guess you would say, but it's um, knotted in the front instead. Um, it does have the buttons going all the way up, but um, it's just knotted and it's cropped in the front. It is kind of big on me. Um, you know, Zara sizing is crazy and I sized up thinking I would need it and it's ended up being a little bit big on me. It's supposed to be like a little bit tighter um, and even like the cropped part of it is just a little bit baggy on me. So I could have sized down, but um, nonetheless, it's so cute and I paired it with these really cute um ribbed um pants that have like these seams going down the front it's kind of like a legging um and obviously they have the split detailing in the front which I think just makes this outfit so sexy I think having like a little bit of button like unbuttoning the top part of it a little bit and then having um the crop and then the splits I think those details are really what ties this outfit together and it really makes it look really really sexy and of course I um, you're gonna see this bag all throughout this um, haul it's my Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse bag so yeah this is such a cute little vibey outfit and I'm kind of just obsessed with it so the next little item that I got is this really cute tweed looking um, cropped blazer and it has gold buttons on the front it looks tweed but they call it like a, a weaved blazer I believe and this is just so cute and just adding it with this outfit I think especially I don't think you could go to work like this like I know my job I wouldn't be able to work like this but um, I think like for like dinner or something this would be really cute with this you know if it gets a little bit colder and you kind of want a jacket um, this would be really cute to just put on. You can put it over your shoulders or you can wear it like this. So I think this is such a cute little addition to the outfit. So for this next outfit, I've taken the um, knotted button down, white button down from the first outfit and I've paired it underneath this really adorable and preppy knitted sweater it has like really large oversized like collar it's really really cute it just lays flat and um it just looks really cute with the with the top underneath and i've paired it with this really adorable leather pleated skirt i love pleated skirts this literally just takes me back to high school because i honestly loved or like middle school rather i guess i used to love pleated skirts like this and i used to wear them all the time and I've just paired it with a pair of thigh-high boots, which makes it really, really cute. And I like to wear my bag crossbody with this outfit because I think it really just accessorizes the outfit. 
I feel like such a little cute school girl, preppy school girl. So cute. I was really feeling the 90s tennis schoolgirl vibe, um, hence the dad sandals with socks, um, which sounded really good in my head, and I saw a Pinterest board for it. The skirt is actually the only thing from Zara, but it's so short, I don't know who's wearing it. I was just really feeling like the Rachel Green, friends, kind of 90s vibe, sporty style, and in my head, this looked completely different, but yeah. Um, I don't know about the socks and sandals and I actually really like the trend, but I just don't know what to wear it with. So in this next outfit, first off, I'm wearing these really old, um, white Adidas sneakers because Nike Air Forces have literally fallen off the face of the earth and I don't own any other white sneakers. And I really thought white sneakers would look really cute with this outfit, but I'm basically just wearing this little cute cohort um, sweater and tank top set. It has pearls all over it and it's so cute. It's like this sage minty, minty green kind of color. And um, the tank top has pearls on the straps, which is really cute. You buy them separately, but you know, they're a little cohort set. And I'm also wearing it with these unflattering mom jeans on me. I don't think Zara jeans like me because um, I need the, you know, Zara sizing is crazy. They run small and I have to get a bigger size for the waist. But you guys look at the legs. It's literally so baggy. I can't deal with how baggy um, the legs are. It just looks so crazy. Um yeah, Zara jeans are really hard. But nonetheless, this is such a cute little casual outfit and I'm kind of just obsessed with it. Such a cute everyday outfit. So in this next outfit, I am wearing this white ribbed sleeveless um, sort of roll neck or turtleneck cropped um, top. It's a Zara basic. Um, it was literally only like nine bucks. And um, I've paired it with the basically same jacket from the first outfit, except it's just longer. It's literally like the same tweed jacket that's really like, they call it like a weave jacket, has the same gold buttons on the front, literally same jacket, just in regular length. Um, and I just thought this looks so cute and casual. Um, I feel like a Parisian. I say Parisian. People say it's Parisian, but I like to say Parisian. Um, I think it looks really, really cute. Um, styled like this, just so cute and casual, but yet smart looking. This is literally giving me all the Christmas, cozy, holiday, cozy, holiday watching, lounging vibes, but you you still look put together enough to get up and go run errands or go holiday shopping. It's such a cute, luxurious, like lounging outfit, I think. Um, it's this really pretty, uh, like creamy, ivory kind of color, and it's actually a three-piece co-ord set, but... Um, the top that I'm wearing is actually the top from the last outfit, but it actually comes with the same kind of styled top just like this, just in the same um, knitted sweater material as the skirt and cardigan. The only thing that I don't like about this is the skirt. It has no shape to it, and I'm assuming it's because it's such great quality. It's really heavy material. Um, it has no shape to it, though, and it hits the floor on me, so I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it or not, but it's such a pretty outfit. I would really love to see this on someone who's kind of tall um, and maybe has a little bit more like curves um, but I'm so obsessed with this outfit I think it's so pretty I told you guys I love ruffles I love puffy sleeves and this is just such a me outfit 
Um, it's this cute little black red crop top. It literally hugs your body so nicely. And it has the cutest ruffled organza sleeves that I'm obsessed with. And I've paired it with these cute little black trousers and it comes with a belt. Again, I'm having issues with the Zara sizing and um, it's just so baggy in the center. I don't even know like if I'm going to be able to make these work. So, so baggy in the center and in the leg, which is really disappointing because it's such a cute little outfit. Definitely love them paired with um, a ballet flat um, as opposed to a heel just because a heel would make this look way too dressy. I mean, I guess if you're going to something really dressy, it would work, but I like it with um, these little Chanel ballet flats. So this is basically almost the same top as the black one. Um, it's still like ribbed, cropped, um, it's just white. And instead of only part of the sleeve being organza, um, the entire sleeve is organza and it is a little bit more puffier at the top on the shoulders. Um, I just thought it looked really pretty in white. But yes, I love my puffy sleeves. I think it just looks so Victorian and like princessy. This next top is so beautiful. It's a sheer organza puffy sleeve crop top and it has pearls all over it, but it was so small. I couldn't even get it over top of my head. It was supposed to be like a one size fits all and they were only selling it in a size medium, but it's so tiny. Even the armholes, I think I'm trying to show you guys like the armhole size is so tiny. It was ridiculous, but I thought it was beautiful and I wish it would fit me because it reminds me of like a breakfast at Tiffany's top. I don't know why, but it just kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if it's because of the pearls. So I was really sad I couldn't wear it, but it's beautiful. I know I look crazy. I had to end up putting my hair up because um, it was getting so frizzy because I was sweating. I have to actually put on my air. It actually doesn't really help that. It's technically not fall here in Virginia. It's still really, really hot. So um, yeah, my hair got really frizzy and crazy, but um, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of it, of uh, the outfits um, down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and like I said, subscribe to mine and Kristen's channel. Um, and just so you guys know, the reason why me and Kristen aren't filming um, in, uh, together is because um, she lives in Florida and I live in Virginia. So. Um, although we have some plans to get together, she's actually supposed to be coming here this month for Thanksgiving and I'm sure we'll do something then. And then I have plans to also go out there pretty soon. So I'm sure we'll get lots of content filmed together, but it actually kind of works out for, um, purposes of like doing hauls and like styling videos just because, um, you kind of, it's, it's easier to like edit with just like one person. If you, uh, see what I'm saying, if you get what I'm saying, like, when you're starting out, you can only have like 15 minute long videos. So it actually ends up working out um, filming like styling hauls and like videos and whatnot separately and then posting, you know, separately on the channel. Um, but um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, like I said, it means so much to us whenever we get like a new subscriber um, as a new channel. And um, please share with your friends. Um, and like I said, let us know down in the comments what you think. But we will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.